Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are continuing our discussion on polar coordinates. Specifically, the objective of this video is to be able to convert from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. And before we begin, I'm going to kind of refer back to um, a, um, a statement, um, if you will, that has been true in all of our discussions so far with uh, our trig functions. And we've really been referring to uh, trig functions, obviously cosine, sine, tangent, as the relationship of cosine of an angle is equal to the ratio of the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? Or the horizontal component over the radius of the circle. And then the sine function would then be the vertical component over the radius. And then, of course, tangent, although we're not going to use tangent in this video, is the vertical over the horizontal. And if you go back a couple of videos, you say that, hey, if in both of these equations for cosine and sine, if I were to multiply both sides by r, that would cancel on the right-hand side, and I would ultimately get a true statement that r times the cosine of theta is equal to x. And if I did the exact same thing with the sine equation, I would get that r times the sine of theta would be equal to y. And these are going to be our two critical formulas for converting from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. Why is this the case? Well, remember, in our polar coordinates, as you see on the screen, we are given an r comma theta, a radius comma a direction angle. And so if that's the case, what I need to do is then utilize the r and the theta to then turn that into an x and a y to get the rectangular coordinates. And if you didn't watch any of my previous videos, remember a rectangular coordinate is just another fancy way of saying Cartesian, Cartesian plane or the xy axis or whatever you want to think about. It. They're all synonymous. So we want to go ahead and use uh, some kind of algebraic method, which is what we just did, to find the rectangular coordinates of the points with the following polar coordinates and actually get some exact, uh, excuse me, approximate uh, exact solutions from that. So let's go ahead and take a look as, as to what do we know. So we know in this case that r is equal to 3 and that theta is equal to 5 pi over 6. Well, I know that x is equal to the radius times the cosine of theta. So let's just substitute right in. We get 3 times the cosine of 5 pi 6 and because this is wanting it in rectangular coordinates, it means we actually have to do the math to get the, the, the cosines and all the trig stuff kind of out of the way. That Those are the polar sides of things. We want just the x and the y. And so in order to do that, we just actually find out what the value of uh, cosine of 5 pi over 6 is. Um, so cosine of 5 pi 6, that's going to be over in quadrant 2. So cosine of uh, pi, pi, pi over 6 is going to be a negative square root of 3 over 2. So x equals 3 times negative square root of 3 over 2. So x is equal to negative 3 root 3 over 2. And then we do the same concept with y, except we know that y is equal to r times the sine of theta. And so we substitute the same r and the same theta in. And we know that in this case, the sine of 5 pi over 6 is a 1 half. And then y is equal to 3 halves. Therefore, we can go ahead and see that our conversion is negative, square root of, negative 3 square root of 3 over 2, comma, 3 over 2. And so what we can say is that this polar coordinate equals this rectangular coordinate here.